One of the big games coming up this weekend, of course, is Buffalo against Kansas City in Arrowhead. Now, both teams reeling, and I don't think reeling is an overstatement. Kansas City, Rob, I, stunning what is going on with them. Now, look, I don't want to overstate it. They're eight and four. All right, they're first in their division, and I think they're the third seed overall in the AFC, so let's not act like they're not, you know, winning. But for them, Rob, they usually are awesome after the bye. Awesome. And this year, they are one and two. I'm sorry. Yeah, one and two after the bye. And they are two and three in their last five games. And it's not like they're losing the juggernauts. Denver beat them. Philadelphia is a juggernaut. And Green Bay beat them. And Buffalo, on the other hand, now they really are in trouble. Uh, Six and six, very close to being out of the playoffs. In fact, if they lose this game and fall to six and seven, they very well may be done because they don't, they aren't going to have many tiebreakers. And at 10 and seven, while somebody at 10 and seven may get into the playoffs, um, they might not get the tiebreaker. So they, they're really fighting for their lives. They've lost three of their last four. Sean McDermott, their articles coming out, destroying him. Um, and so, or one article, I should say. And um, that is the setting of this game. And in the midst of all this, CBS Sports, Rob, put out an article saying that Josh Allen and versus Patrick Mahomes is the greatest quarterback rivalry since Peyton Manning versus Tom Brady. Rob G, give us a quick summary of the article. Then I want to hear Rob's uh, reaction, and then I'll give you mine. It's a very in-depth article. Whoever did this article put a lot of time and effort because they have five, actually five very solid reasons as to why this is the best rivalry. Number one being historic production. Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, one and two in NFL history in terms of total touchdowns per game. Number two, just in the last four years, Mahomes and Allen, one and two in quarterback wins, total touchdowns, total pass rushing yards. These guys are just eating up the record books. Number three, when they play each other head to head, it tends to be a shootout. They've combined for 28 total touchdowns, 3,400 total yards combined in their five meetings. So these guys are really lighting up the scoreboard. Number four, they play each other a lot despite being in different divisions this will now be their sixth meeting in the last four years, which you don't really see too often with high-level quarterbacks that aren't in the same division. And last but not least, number five, how can we forget that infamous 42-36 to overtime playoff victory for Kansas City when the teams combined for 31 points after the two-minute warning in the fourth quarter, by far the most in NFL postseason history. Okay. So yeah, yeah. Where you at? You do you think it's no. the greatest rivalry since Manny Brady? No, I would take Joe Burrow and Patrick Mahomes. I think that they've played in bigger games, bigger moments, and I get the you just want to you know compile stats and look at it. If you look at the stats and all that, that's fine. They're one and two in all these categories, but I just remember and and when you talk about rivalries too, like a rivalry. Other teams got to beat each other. You know, it can't be like somebody's dominating one or the other. And Joe Burrow has been able to go into Kansas City and and, and win and go to a, you know, with the with the Super Bowl on the line, Chris. I, I think it's Joe Burrow and, and Patrick Mahomes. That's the rivalry that I look forward to. And you remember they were talking about renaming the, the Arrowhead or whatever they call it now down there. You remember the Burrowhead because he had gone down well, there yeah. and had been able to win. And even the game that they lost the last time was by three points on a questionable call, you know, on the sideline, Chris. I mean, that that was I, – I think that's the rivalry that I look more most forward to. I agree with you. Um, I did appreciate, Rob, the article pointing out how great Josh Allen has been because I feel like people are losing sight of that. And, and maybe it's just balancing out because – Rob, you know these past two, three years, people have, I mean, a few years ago, they were acting like he was the best quarterback in the league. Oh, Patrick definitely. Mahomes. You remember You're that. Right? Chris, I think that year, remember the the one we disputed Patrick being fifth on the list? 
Right. They even had. The of the remember that they even had. Uh, uh, Allen was coming off that re- incredible playoff run. But they even had Justin. They the even Chiefs, had Justin but, Herbert ahead of him. You remember that? Yeah, that yeah. was ridiculous. So I, I think that um, he was getting a little too much premature love, and now it's like he's getting torn down a little too much. Um, now look, if they don't make the playoffs. And they're certainly a playoff caliber. If they don't make team, the playoffs, that would be a, a big hit. blow. Yeah, he that, that's going to take a hit. So yeah. It is what it is. But for all his turnovers, interceptions, and let's not act like it hadn't been Jameis Winston. Um, but for all his interceptions, Rob, his touchdown, total touchdown to interception ratio, or total touchdown to turnover ratio is incredible. It's right up there at the top uh, or near the top of the league. And so, yes, he may turn it over more than most, but he makes up for it and then some by scoring way more than most. He's got the most touchdowns total of any quarterback in the history of the NFL in their first six seasons. So I appreciated the article pointing out how good Josh Allen has been. You know, Rob, I've said he's the Brett Favre of this era. Now, he doesn't have the hardware. Even individually, Favre won the three straight And MVPs. he won three straight MVPs. Right. Like, people forget that. I mean, right. that, that, that is no. I don't know when that. That may not happen for they a long made, time. Chris, Just, you know, that's hard. Fatigue, things like that. But he, you know, I think they are similar type players, and I think Josh is of that caliber. But I agree with you. When I think of – I, Josh Allen just hasn't won the important games enough against Mahomes. He hadn't won any. And I'm not saying the regular season games don't matter. Not the one where they gave up the touchdown, one, Chris. Right, you he's know. two and one against Allen in the regular season, but he's zero and two against him in the playoffs. And on the other hand, Burrow has beaten Mahomes in the playoffs. He's three and one against Mahomes overall, but one and one in the playoffs. Beat him in the AFC title game to get to the Super Bowl, like. That's what I'm thinking of as a rivalry because, as you said, Rob, both guys got to win. They got to win something. You got to make it feel like it ain't automatic. You right. know, like like if it's automatic, that's not a rivalry. Even if it's you know two teams that you look at, that it's got to be like a give and take. Where oh my God, they, are they going to get us this year? You remember we saw that really with Michigan and Ohio State, Chris. Ohio State had won like eight years in a row, and then all of a sudden now Michigan's won three years in a row. Uh, but but you like it if it's nip and tuck and but somebody wins one year or two years in a row and another team wins one or two years in a row or something like that. But yeah, I don't yeah. see I don't I just don't see this. I'm not saying that there's no rivalry because they play, but I don't think it's the best. Yeah, I I agree with you. I think there's some rivalry, some level of rivalry. Um, they're two of the best individual quarterbacks in the league. Um, again, Allen has won his share of the regular season matchups. But, no, nah, it's not above Burrow. The only negative, Rob, or the only argument against Burrow, uh, Mahomes being a great rivalry, is just that Mah- Burrow is hurt quite a bit. You know what I mean? Like, this year, we're not going to see it. You know what I mean? And that would be the only thing, but I don't think that stops it from being better. Now, if Allen somehow, I mean, if they even get in the playoffs, if they were to beat, you know, Kansas City this year, then I think if we have we can talk about it again. You know what I mean? No, but, we could re, we could revisit yeah, it definitely. Right now, no. I'm I'm totally with you. I, I'm All curious right. to where people are on this because uh are they with us or maybe they do see it and they, they look at it, Chris, and look at that the loss uh wasn't Josh Allen's. He got the touchdown with thirteen seconds to go, you know what I mean? And then Mahomes right. did it to their defense. I don't I don't know. And that feels like it was a while ago, yeah. too, just because of what's transpired then. Since then, Rob, are there any other rivalries, though, since Brady Manning that you think? I mean, one, to be honest, that I'm, I'm not putting it above Burrow Mahomes, but even, and this might sound crazy to people, but Brady Mahomes was, I think, somewhat of a rivalry, but it, I wouldn't put it at the level of either of these two just because obviously Brady was much older and from a previous generation than Mahomes. But also Brady did win the two big games. He won an yeah. AFC championship. He won in the Super Bowl. How about, how about Dak and Mahomes, I mean uh, Dak and Hurts, Chris, going forward, being in the same Maybe. 
division, you right. know what I mean? And for yep. years to come, like, to fight one. for that's that. That's a good call. That could, not that yet, could be, not yet, yet, but it could possibly, be. Yep. yep, that's a great call. Especially if one of them You know me, the I know MVP football like the made, back of my hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Dak, if Dak, you know, stays at this level, because um, he is playing elite level football right now. And if he stays at this level, Rob, for, you know, the rest of his prime, and Hurts does as well, then you probably are definitely going to have a good rivalry between those two.